Okay, so this is a very short video on just getting started with Visual Studio Code. It's a very, very beginner level. So if you're a programmer or you're at an advanced level, this is not for you. So to access Visual Studio Code, you're going to do a search into your uh, Google uh, search bar, Visual Studio Code. You're going to get this that comes up. You're going to go to the download page and you will choose your operating system and uh, which one to download. You will download it and just follow normal installation instructions. I'm not going to go through those. You should know how to do those to install the application. So once you've installed it and opened it, you're going to get something like this. Let me just go to smaller. Uh, so I'm just going to close this um, getting started page here so that we've just got a blank screen here. So the first thing you want to do when you are um, creating a new project in Visual Studio Code is you need a root folder for your website. In other words, a folder that contains all the files for your website. So you can do that in your operating system or you can do it from within Visual Studio Code. So I'm going to do it from within here and I just want to delete this one here so that I'm not repeating myself. Uh, so you're going to go to um, File add folder to workspace and then uh, you'll choose your location and just create a new folder so I'll call this acme underscore clothing create and add it's going to ask you if you want to trust this folder just say yes so now you have your folder that's your root folder everything's going to go inside there so now you can actually start creating the structure. So I'm going to click on there and I'm going to add a new folder and I'll call this underscore images. So I'm using the underscore so that the images folder bubbles up to the top. You don't have to do that. You can just call it images. Notice it's lowercase, no spaces. Okay, and then back up there, another folder. Let's say underscore private. So that will be all of my private uh, files and stuff to do with this project, but not the actual files that go on, that are going to be uploaded to the web when it's done. So it's kind of just a good thing to keep a folder containing all of your design notes and your emails and things like that. All right, then I'm going to create another folder called CSS assets with a dash instead of a space, no caps. And one more called JS JavaScript assets. Okay, so that's my folder structure. Now I want to actually add the HTML files. So I'm going to go back up here and new file and I'm going to type index.html. So your homepage is always called index and notice where I have to include the .html. Otherwise, it's not going to know that this is a, an HTML file. Okay, I'll add another one. Um, I'll call this info.html. Um, contact.html and gallery.html gallery. okay so now I've got the file this is a very small website hypothetical website I've created so I've got all my HTML files I've got my folders I'm going to go into my CSS assets folder and make a file called styles.css Okay, and into the JavaScript and create a file called scripts.js. Okay, so I've, I've spelt this wrong. I've said JA instead of JS. I'm just going to right click on it and rename. And let's just make it JS. Okay, so now I've got all the files I need, all the folder structure. And that's basically how you create a new project in Visual Studio Code. Um, from this point on, when you're actually writing code, you can take advantage of the code hinting, auto-completion features, and a few other things in VS Code. So I'm going to go to the index page, and I'm just going to click on line 1, and type an exclamation, and press Enter. And what it does is it sort of creates the basic HTML structure for my page without me having to type this manually. So you can see what a time saver this is. If I had to type this manually, it would take... A lot longer and that's how 
VS Code works, and that's why it's so great to help you with creating HTML. So even if you don't know any HTML at the moment, you can see how this helps. Um, so as I start building content, all I have to do is just type a letter, and it's going to present me with possible HTML tags that I might want to use. So let's say that I want a heading at the top of my body section my, of my web page. I just type, type H. Oh, sorry, my cursor was in the wrong place. H. And it presents me with the HTML tags for headings. So I'll choose H1. And notice where it auto-completes the tag. So I'll just say Acme Clothing. And then let's do one more. So I'll go to the next line. Let's say that I want a paragraph here. So I'll press P. And it comes up with the paragraph tag. Enter. It auto-completes. And I'll just say this is my first paragraph. Okay, so that's how code hinting and auto-completion works. One more thing I want to show you, and then you're pretty much good to go. You can start coding in this uh, application. One more thing is, what if you have some content? So I'm just going to type here, uh, this is some content that is not marked up with HTML. So I don't have this inside a paragraph tag. Now, in HTML, everything should be marked up. So I'm going to select it and I'm going to press shift command P on the Mac, shift control P on Windows, and it brings up this little uh, search bar here. And I'm just going to type wrap and it's going to present me with this Emmet wrap with abbreviation. I'm going to choose that and then type whatever I want to wrap this content in. So I want to wrap it in a paragraph tag. So I'll press P, it gives me a preview down here. I'm going to press enter. And now it has wrapped that content in that HTML tag. So Emmet is basically just a, um, a quick way of creating code. You will learn as you get uh, better at HTML and you master it. But this is all I wanted to cover here is how to find it, how to install it, how to create a project and how to get started. All right, so I hope this helps you. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Uh, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and see you next time.